Hey, what's going on YouTube? Hey listen, I know there's a few other videos out there about these Argentinian primers, but uh, they don't really talk about the cons that come with these things. And I just want to give you a heads up to let you know what you might be getting yourself into. So yes, in the end, these small pistol primers, they go bang. The packaging sucks, right? You're likely, they're going to have you know your individual packs in here. You're likely going to open it up and you're going to have loose primers rolling around. The packaging just isn't as robust as like a, a CCI or a, a Federal or whatever, right? So that's con number one. Con number two, fail the fires. I don't have the exact numbers. I've gone through several hundred of these. I'm guessing 5%. I've seen people complain about 10%. Um, I wish you the best of luck. I hope it works out for you. I know it's still cheaper than buying ammo, but uh, nobody likes fail the fires, etc. You know, when I use the CCI 500s, never have issues. So I really miss having the availability of these. Uh, let's zoom in. I'm going to show you two other things. One of them is about trying to get them right sided on a hand priming tool. Super frustrating. You're going to spend lots of time doing it by hand manually because they just a lip. Uh, something about the way they just don't catch, and I'll show you that here. All right, common task, right? You put your primers into your uh, your hand tool, and you just got to be able to, you know, right side them up. These primers are super frustrating when it comes to getting them to go right side. It ain't like a CCI. God, I miss CCI primers. So you can sit here forever and keep trying in futility to get it to go, or you can just flip it by hand. It's one of the frustrating tasks that I just deal with because that's the only primers I have at the moment. Um, yeah. And the other part is they don't feed well into cases. Maybe it's just me having some shoddy brass, you know, whatever. Um, but like some of the other, you know, federal CCI that I tend to use in the past before the pandemic shortage, uh, I do the extra step of reaming. So if you don't have a tool like this to ream out and uniform your primer pockets, um, I've suffered actually losing um, a few cases and a few primers because they just wouldn't seat properly. I don't know what it is. You know, I measured them with the calipers. They seem to be pretty good about being the same consistent size. I don't know if it's a taper thin or what, if it's a material issue. Uh, maybe I was being a little bit, you know, forceful with some other primers and they went, but these ones, I don't risk it. Every stinking, you know, piece of brass that I have, I'm going to run through to the uniformer in the, in the cutter just to make sure, you know, I don't care if I'm wasting time if I've already done it. It's better than losing primers, so that's another Get what you can get at this moment. I hope that if you do buy them, they work for you. If you have some, uh, some feedback, you know, put it down in the comments so we can share it with other YouTubers. I appreciate you stopping by and watching the video, and I hope it saves you some time in the future. Best of luck, happy shooting, happy reloading. See you around.